The devil is a liar. Yeah. Honor God's word. And when you get there, you experience the activation of God's right hand of power. It'll cover you. How do you know that God's right hand is enough to cover you? Yeah. Oh my God, I feel good right there. Just his right hand is enough to cover you. That's all you need. Huh? Just his hand. When he hit Moses in the cleft of the rock, he didn't say his whole body covered. He said, no, I took my hand. That's enough to cover you. And God in his fiery zeal will consume all that try to draw you away from dwelling. Wait a minute. God has enough Holy Ghost fire to defeat everything or everyone that wants to pull me away from dwelling with him? Yes. The answer is yes. yes. That's why Isaiah wrote, no weapon formed against me yes. shall prosper. prosper. Yes. They already knew about this text. Y'all yes. just bear with me. I feel good when I see this. Yes, sir. Yes. I feel good because it reminds
Colossians 2 and 9, for in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. God is our house. And he is our hiding place. In 2 Corinthians 12 and 9, he said to Paul, when Paul questioned him on some things, he said, Paul, my grace is the amplifier. My favor and loving kindness and mercy is enough for you. Sufficient against any danger. And enables you to bear the trouble manfully. For my strength and power are made perfect, fulfilled and completed. And show themselves most effective in your weakness. Therefore I, Paul responds, I will all the more gladly glory in my weaknesses and infirmities. That the strength and power of Christ the Messiah may rest, watch this, pitch a tent over and dwell upon me. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all catching that. Y'all catching that. When I go through it, I find myself a little weak. That's the perfect time to dwell in God. Ah, and because I dwell in him in my heart, he's dwelling within me too. So we are not one without the other. Oh, man. Oh, man. God will pitch a tent over us and dwell, covering us with himself. Now let's look at the secret place. So we finally got there, huh? He that dwelleth in the secret place. I told y'all, this is so good, we may not even get all the way through. This is so rich. So rich. Let's look at the secret place. <clears throat> all right. We'll do the same thing. Remember, you always read from right to left. The letters for secret place are Resh, Tav, Shamek. These are the letters that spell the word secret. Shamek. Earthly. It means to be propped up by a piece of wood, to lean upon, to hold, to assist, or support the heart of God. Tab means the outcome of trial and testing. If it was a picture, it actually would be the picture of a rough and rugged cross. And its meaning means to covenant, to seal, to mark. It's a sign of ownership to finish or complete. And that third word or letter is resh, which originally has roots in insufficiency and poverty. But the picture of it is a head. And the meaning of it is chief, beginning, highest, most important, a human reasoning versus obedience. In other words, I'll, I'll kind of make that easier for you. So in other words, that word resh means that when we allow human reasoning to be our master or our head, poverty of the spirit results. I'm going to say that one more time. When we allow human reasoning to be our master and our head. Poverty of the spirit results. What do you say? Anytime you make decisions using your intellect and not God's intellect, you experience spiritual deficiency. Yeah. Oh. I know, I, know, I know that's a little tough, especially what we're going through right now. Yeah. I'm going to say it one more time. Anytime you use your reasoning yeah. and your intellect yeah. versus that of God, yeah. you will experience a spiritual deficiency. Yeah. Woo. There's something about that first letter, Shaman. It is circular in form. And uh, I was trying to get some graphics up for you. Hey, Amen. But then I quickly realized, oh, we don't have the, 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 the thing here. So I can show it up there for you. So I'm going to ask everybody, if you don't mind, I just want you to pray real quick. Lord, send us the money that we need to finish the upgrades to your temple. Yes, Lord. So that we can do exactly what it is that you gave us to do. Yes. 
Lord, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know how you're going to do it, but God, send it to us. Show us where it is. Somebody out there has it. And in the name of Jesus, we're requesting that it come to us. In the name of Jesus. Somebody's writing our check right now. Amen. Oh, Lord, if you believe in this shot, just give God a praise right there. Amen. When I help you out, that starts with you giving. Come down, he said, I'll take care of the old place, and I'll give it back to you. Press down, shake it together, run it over. Show what? Men. Men. Give it to your bosom. So that means somebody. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Writing your check. Yeah. Or taking it out the bank to give it to you in cash. Yeah. When? Right now. Okay, that's it. That's, that's as far as I can go prosperity. That's it. I'll go to more beyond that. That's the Bible. Amen. That's it. Woo! It's a circular form. And Shamek, because it means the heart of God, which upholds and supports us. Just as a circle has no beginning or end, neither does God. His love is from everlasting to everlasting. And we can lean upon his faithful love and support. And if we do, we will be surrounded, supported, and kept in perfect peace in the heart of God. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is staying on you, because he trusts in you. So when you put this understanding, Together with the other letters. Here's the meaning of this word through the Hebrew lens. So if they would have read this, this is what they would have said. They would have said, to dwell in the secret place is to live in the midst of God's heart. Oh. Oh. To dwell in the secret place is to live in the midst of God's heart. Trusting fully in his covenant, his word, and trusting that he is head over all. His covenant covers you with promises of protection because he loves you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah. He loves you. Can, can I, that's so good. Can I say it one more time? Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. To dwell in the secret place is to live in the midst of God's heart. That's Sean. Trusting fully in his covenant word. That's Tom. And trusting that he is head. That's the wretch. Over all. His covenant covers you with promises of protection because he loves you. That's why David wrote in the 27th Psalm. One thing have I desired of the Lord. And that will I see. Yes. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Yes. To behold the beauty of the Lord yes. and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble, oh, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Yes. In the secret place. Oh, God, there it is. Yes. In the secret place yes. of his tabernacle, yes. he shall hide me. He'll set me high upon a rock. And then the 31st Psalm David said, Oh, how great is your goodness. Which you have laid up for those who fear you. Which you have prepared for those who trust in you. In the presence of the sons of men. Watch. <coughs> Excuse me. Y'all pray for me. You shall hide them in your secret place. From the secret place of your presence. From the plots of man. And you shall keep them secretly in the pavilion from the strife of tongues. That's Psalms 31. Now, you all see that last line? God will keep us in a secret place away from the strife of what people say. The strife of tongues. Now, based on what we went through last week, woo, it seems to me like we need a secret place right now. Right now. Because everywhere we look, there's contention brewing by things that people are saying. Don't even have to be true. I'm going to say it. 
say that one more time. It does not even have to be true. Even though the facts and the truth say there was not an overwhelming amount of fraud that could have overturned the election. Yet and still, you got some folks that are really, really loud on Twitter and really, really loud at uh, a rallies telling you that it is false. And you saw what happened just because of what somebody said. That should trouble you. But should also tell you that the Bible is right. Life and death is in the power of what? Your tongue. Open up your mouth and something's going to happen. So you better make sure you open up your mouth with some Jesus Christ on it. process. The Lord reminded me quickly when he was studying, had me study this. Dr. Carl, he reminded me, and I'm praying for Paul Boy. I'm praying for him. I am. I, I'm praying for him. I'm praying for every every single preacher that got up there and stood up there and said that uh, 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 45 was going to say 45. I'm praying for all of them. It's 
your choice to remain in him. The sacred place is a wonderful place to be. Whether you're running from the enemy or not. What you mean? In times of trouble, dwell in the secret place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when the blessed stay in the secret place. Yes, when things are going good, stay in the secret place. Yes. When things ain't so hot, stay in the secret place. Yes, when your body feels good, dwell with Jesus. Yes. Even when it feels sick, still keep on dwelling with him. Let's put these phrases together and see what we've got so far. You ready? Yeah. This is the interpretation of just he that dwelt in the secret place. Yeah. We ain't got to the shadow of the Almighty yet. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Yes. Smith, this is just dwelling in the secret place. Yes. He who dwells is one who's made the choice to live permanently in God's house. Yeah. Trusting in God and honoring his word. There he will experience the activation of God's right hand of power covering him. And God in his fire and zeal will consume all that tries to keep or draw him away from dwelling. To dwell in a secret place is to live in the midst of God's heart. Trusting fully in his covenant word. And trusting that he is headed over all. His covenant covers you with promises of protection. 